Beverages, Sabrina here. Now I had no intention whatsoever today of filming a tutorial. I really didn't. I just went and I applied my makeup for today for another set of videos that I'm recording. And this look came out so beautifully that I had to share it with you. And we're using the Lorac Pro 2 palette to create this look. And I absolutely love it. And I knew many of you, when you saw it in videos that I'm going to be recording, would want to see a tutorial for it. So that is what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how to recreate the entire face. This is a little bit more of a complex eyeshadow look, but I guarantee you, with patience and practice, you can definitely pull it off. Let me show you how to recreate the entire face. As with every eyeshadow look, you want to start by priming your eyes. I'm using the NARS primer for this look today. And one of the first things we're going to do is take our blending shade and apply this onto the brow bone and bring it down onto the crease. I'm using Max Blanc Type here. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to make blending our crease color a lot easier in this look. First eyeshadow we're taking from the Lorac Pro 2 palette is the shade Nectar. And I'm applying this into the crease with the Sedona Lace EB15 Crease Brush. And then we're blending away the harsher edges and you can see how easily they fade when you do apply your blending shade first. Next shade we're taking from the palette is the one called Mocha and we're applying this onto the outer half of the lid with the MAC 239 brush. And then we're gonna take the shade called Rosé and apply this onto the inner half of the lid and blend this over Mocha a little bit. With the shade called Snow, next we're going to layer this eyeshadow over where we applied Rosé on the inner half of the lid. And you may be asking why I'm doing this. I did this because Snow is one of those that doesn't show up on me on its own. But I find that when I layer it over something like Rosé, it shows up beautifully. And it actually creates a new color when you combine these two together. And then with the shade called Coco, we're going to use the Makeup Geek Crease Brush. I have a tiny amount of this eyeshadow on this brush. A little bit goes a long way because this shade is super pigmented. And I'm applying this into the outer V of the eye. We really want to deepen up that portion of the eye, give it a lot of depth. And then I'm going to go back over it with Nectar once again to blend it out. Really blend this shade out. Last eyeshadow we're taking from the palette is the one called Black. This is not really a true black, so don't let the name intimidate you. It's actually more of a smoky gray. I'm applying this shade onto the outer third of the lid, bringing it up into the outer V, and then we're really going to blend this into the outer V some more. Blend, 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 blend. Lots of blending in this look. Very important to get that really smoky outer V effect with no harsh lines. Once you have the desired blending effect, then you can clean up the outer edges with your blending shade. And to define the lower lash line, I'm lining it first with the shade called Black. And then I'm going to go over it with the shade called Mocha and the Makeup Geek pencil brush and use this to smoke out that line. To complete the look, I'm going to line the upper lash line with my Illamasqua Gel Liner. Best gel liner ever! And I'm filling in the brows with the Laura Mercier Brow Defining Gel in Fair. And my falsies today are from InkyMinky.com, and these are the style called Koi Cutie. Perfect pair because they flare out at the edges, which allows the eyeshadow look to do all of the talking. And those are the completed eyes. Love this look. So neutral for every day. Adds a lot of great definition to the eyes. I'm prepping the face with the Shiseido Ibuki Moisturizer, since I've had some dry skin issues here lately. Around the fall is usually when I tend to get dry in my T-zone. My concealer is from Benefit. This is the one called Fake Up. I have been having a love affair with this concealer. I absolutely love how beautifully it covers up all of the blueness that I tend to get underneath my eyes. It's great stuff. Keeping the foundation simple today, I'm going with the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick. And this is in the shade Porcelain. Very easy to apply. I've really been enjoying this foundation. And to blend it in, I'm using the Sedona Lace 928 Flat Top Brush. Setting the face with some translucent powder from Laura Mercier, lightly dusting that across the face. And for my cheeks today, I'm going with a limited edition blush from MAC. This is the perfect cheek, and it truly is the perfect color, especially for this type of look. But if you don't have this one, you can also use any light pink. MAC Lipstick Sample Alert, trying a new color here. This is MAC's Snob. And if you want to know where I get my MAC lipstick samples from, I will put that link for you down below as well. Really impressed by this color. It reminds me a lot of MAC's Lovelorn lipstick. So I don't know if I'm going to get it yet, simply because I already have Lovelorn. I'm really torn because I like this color, but I don't know if I'm in love with this color. 
You know what I mean. Are you looking for new ways to wear your eyeshadows? Discover the only website online with pictures of combinations using the brands featured here and so many more. Head on over to MyEyeshadowConsultant.com and get inspired today. <laughs>